Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at some clip usage tips in Adobe Premiere Pro. Anytime you're adding clips from a project panel into a timeline or timelines, you like to see which ones you've used, maybe how many times you've used them, if you've duplicated them anyway. Premiere Pro has got you covered. There's lots of ways to show that. The first one is a little badge that I have to admit, I didn't even notice for the longest time that it was there. So let's show the little badge first. Here in my project panel, I've got a bunch of art list clips, some uh, motion array photos, and none of them have a badge on them. The only one that does have a badge is this, and it's the sequence, which is black, and that's what I'm using right now. Now, if I start putting clips into the timeline, either by dragging them in or double-clicking on them and setting an in and out point, and then inserting or overwriting them, however I like to do it, you'll get an indication that this clip has been used, but it has to refresh. Right now it hasn't refreshed. Watch what happens if I move, maybe if I move the, the scroll bar, there we go. It deselects the clip and that little blue indicator is showing that the clip is used. If I mouse over, it tells me it's used one time. It doesn't tell me where. So as I start to use uh, different clips, and again, I could right click on that, insert that, drag it in, give it a second to update, and it updates. Same with, these are still images, same thing. Still images, again, it's not updating. I'm gonna click here, now it's updating. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna use that little uh, properties option fill, fit to fill, so it fills all of these perfectly. Okay, so now we can see which ones are in here, but again, we couldn't see if something has been used multiple times. So if I go in here and get this chef in, out and we'll insert that into here go back and now we'll get him looking at the the plate in insert so this is one clip but we've used it multiple times back to back there's another way to look at things and we'll use our list view for that. So instead of being in, in icon view, we're in list view, and we can change these headers up here. And the easiest way is to right click right on here and choose metadata display, or you can click in the three line menu, a little fly out menu here, and get to the metadata display. This allows us to customize all of the header information and we can sort by all of this. So I'll type in usage and turn on video audio usage, click OK. You don't see it, it's way over on the right. I can scroll all the way over to here and find it somewhere. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna double click on the name and it's gonna open it right up and then I'll drag this over to the left. And uh, it would be the same for audio usage too, we'll drag that over. So now we've got that, double click on the name again, and now you can see, so if I find this clip here, I'll tap the F key, there it is, and I can find it in the project, reveal it in the project, and you can see here it's used two times. That one's one, 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 one. If I click on the little down facing arrow, not only can I see um, where it's, that it's been used twice, but if I click one of these, it's going to take me directly to that clip. Very useful for finding things like B-roll. 
you've chopped up a bunch of B-roll, you're working with a very long form, hour, two hour long uh, video, and you went to this B-roll. Um, if you're like me, I like to use B-roll once because I'm the kind of guy that sits in the audience and I know exactly if you've used the same B-roll twice. And to me, that bothers me. Uh, that either says that you didn't try hard enough or you just didn't pay attention enough. Give me at least two different B-rolls. So I would look somewhere else. Or in this case, two of the main shot that we've got here. Now, there's another way to look in the timeline for duplicated clips. For this, we do have to turn this on. So we go to the little wrench and we can turn on Show Duplicate Frame Markers. You don't see anything because we don't have any duplicate frames. As soon as I duplicate a frame, I'll, I'll duplicate um, this one here. I'm holding Alt on Windows, Option on Mac and dragging it over here. And it doesn't work for still images. That's important to note. But watch this. I'll drag this clip over to here. Boom. I've copied that clip and this underline, this purple underline on each one of these clips is telling me this clip has been used before. That clip is the same clip. If I right click on that clip and show it in project, there it is in the project. If we go back to um, our icon view, there it is selected. Same thing over here. If I had a Different one selected, right click, reveal in project, there it is. So it's been used twice. And that's right there, show duplicate frame markers. In the edit menu, keyboard shortcuts, in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, So I'm searching for show duplicate frame markers. So we could turn this on as a shortcut and turn it off when we don't need that. That's a good idea if you've got a very long form uh, timeline. If this is an hour, two hours, you turn that on, it does take a, a bit of performance for Premiere Pro to show that. So if it's on a keyboard shortcut and you're unsure, uh, you're checking for clips now, you could hit the keyboard shortcut have a look, and if you you're, you don't have any duplicates, turn it right off, or while it's on, go to the, the offending duplicate and do something uh, with it. So whether you're working with just simple projects or you need to how many, see how many times something has been used or duplicated, now you can do that. Uh, very easy to find that in your sequence. And that, that little um, video usage will actually open up the sequence for you and, and show you exactly where that is uh, so if you happen to have that timeline closed. So lots of very useful ways in Premiere Pro to manage your media. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. Thanks to all of our wonderful uh, supporters out there who donate all the time. We do appreciate that. Many of you have been donating for years from now, or years now, and we appreciate it. Hey, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to go back to some basics and uh, put them together in a very simple and concise tutorial to show you you've got way more control than you think in organizing your media. Mm.